Hi guys, welcome to Make 2. This is a review of a Lego set from the Lego Movie, set number 70803. In case you couldn't get it, this is Cloud Cuckoo Palace. It comes with four minifigs. You get a Wild Style. You get an Emmet with the Peace of Resistance. You get Executron with some handcuffs. And you get a Unikitty. And I'll show you all those in detail at the end, along with an unofficial, but I think beautiful little minifig, a cute little yellow green snail. Now let's take a look at the set itself. As you can see, it comes in two parts. And as you will remember from the movie, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you see it immediately. I'm not going to give any spoilers, apart from to say that part of the movie is set in the clouds. And this is representative of part of the huge landscape where some of the happy clappy Lego creatures live in the clouds. So that's why the base is white. You've got these round pieces to represent um, the clouds. I think it's really good just sort of imagining the vast landscape. And I think some people um, online have made have put post pictures of some of their creations that span this idea way further because this is just a tiny tiny element of what is in the movie is really really big and super colorful colors all over the place and they've tried to capture that here and I think they've done it really well um, lots of uses of different colors and we'll get to that on here but this tiny build though let's concentrate on this first you have this pretty multicolored piece with a, a translucent flower at the top on a life preserver ring in yellow with these little one by one tiles, which is one of the reasons I got this set. Well, I say got this set, it was a birthday present. It was a birthday present that I asked for. Uh, I think this is a set that you either love or probably don't want at all in your collection. For me, I really wanted it. Um, not so much for the, the play value, and uh, not so much because of the things I thought I could build with exactly these pieces, but because I don't have much other things in my collection that are this super colourful and pretty and cheery. And I just thought it's a great colour palette that I wanted more of. So back to the action feature. You have this little cloud by itself, separate from the palace. And this thing, as you saw, swings just on a single Technic pin. And it shoots. I'll do that again. And you can see it shoot again. This is missiles. For, for protecting things of one foot in front of you. I'm gonna, wow, that, you didn't see it, but, well, it went far. Uh, like two feet far. That's that's as strong as I get, I'm afraid, and I've, I've lost the flowers. Let's take a look, though, at the main thing of the build, the palace itself. Lots of beautiful colours, lots of these little tiles, which I really like. Accents of these red uh, ball pieces everywhere. Flowers sticking off the side pink tiles, um, I think sort of a magenta, violet here, pale blue, pale blue. Uh, what other pretty colours do we have? We have light purple or violet over there. So lots of lots of pinks, lots of pastels, really nice. And at the edge, a beautiful bright big yellow sun, which looks like it's almost hovering in midair, and that's obviously the effect they're going for. But if you can see, it's actually on a stalk, a translucent stalk piece. And this is a clever little build. It's just got eight um, teeth, but in yellow, and attached sort of just to different places around uh, around round tiles, and then covered with um, this dish plate. So I think that's a really good. It's really nice to see. You can angle it a little bit. They've um, put stoppers in, so you can't angle it too far down. But it does have some range of motion. Moving on to this side. Again, it, it, this doesn't make much sense as a building, and you're not supposed to make sense, but I don't think they really understood what all their buildings were for in the movie either. But it just gives a sense of space and motion. There's definitely two levels, that's pretty clear. I think these are windows into the palace that's stretching way beyond the outside um, of just this little vignette. Here's a cloud, and here's a cloud, and here is a dish piece that spins. It's just attached to a a low friction axle piece, um, Technic piece, pin, so that spins round. Up here, as I said, you have the um, just another place where you can put your mini figs. 
And over here, there's, I'll show you at the back, there's just a, there's just a gear between two other smaller gears. When you rotate it, it just rotates these round in, I think opposite directions, but I can't, I think in the same direction. I don't care what's going on. I think in the same direction. Um, and just rotates these two dishes around, which I think is a really nice feature. Just looks so colorful. This piece and this piece down here are both printed. So let's just show you the back of it. There's not much to see. This is very much about the facade going forwards. But just so you get a sense of it, this is how it's made. You can see the three gears here, very simple, but it works well. You don't need anything else. Um, you can see just the, this big archway here looks, I think you can see it more clearly from this angle than you can from at the front. So this, you know, this is where you'd have somebody walk, there's a walkway there. So you can have one of your minifigures walking through, you can have another one looking out through one of these windows. You can see this is just that little um, pin piece for the rotating one. Let's just go all the way around. That's the Cloud Cuckoo Palace. So let's take a look at the minifigures. First we have Emmett with a scared face because he's being pursued. On the back we have that strange red piece of resistance. You know he's got the hairstyle here with that stray tuft of hair at the back which is pretty funny to see him with. And just the regular in his overalls printing on the front. But let's take a look at his alternate face. Well this one's much happier. You can see he's got that cheeky happy grin and nothing else has changed. Next up, Executron. He's got a smart black suit, uh, grey, light grey, kind of silvery hands. No printing on the back and no printing on the legs. Pretty straight laced haircut as you'd expect for a minion of Lord Business. These super impressive shades and there's no printing on the back of the head, just plain old silver. Here we have Wildstyle, and this is my favorite minifigure in the set of the traditional actual minifigures. She's got black arms, black hands, it's wonderful printing on the torso, which goes all the way down to the legs on her right leg, including down to the toes with this kind of light um, bluish purpley color. It's on one arm as well, which I think is really nice, that kind of asymmetry, uh, sort of strong asymmetry to her um, print is really good. You can see it's got this piece here, which is her hood. It's actually kind of rubbery. It's not a normal stiff plastic of the rest of the minifigures. Again, standard print on the rest. Let's now take a look at her alternate face. This one's the serious one. The other one is, well, kind of serious too. Well, it's serious, but I don't know, a little a smirk, a satisfied smirk. That's what I'll say about it. And one last look, I'm just going to show you the back of her torso with the hood removed, just so you can see all the printing. And then you see it gets a little bit of printing all the way up the back. So that's Wildstar. I said she's my favourite minifigure in the set, one of my favourite minifigs overall, and I think because of the, the asymmetry around his right hand side picked up in the hair, on the arm, along the torso, and all the way down to the toes. I just think it's really, really nicely done. She's not strictly a minifigure in terms of the traditional worst phrase, but clearly Unikitty is a fun and special character. Uh, so I think it's worth just giving you the tour here. It's got this wonderful tailpiece, unique to Unikitty's. Now it's also been used in dark gray in the detective office. The eyes and mouth are on this printed 1x3 brick with a very happy expression here. She's got a unicorn horn for her head, cheese slopes, and everything in these lovely pastel colours, very light yellow, very, very light pink. It's a normal light pink for the rest, slightly darker pink up here. Uh, it's my only Unikitty, and I was really happy to get one with this set. I think she's adorable. Finally, we have a figure that isn't really a minifigure, but I wanted to include it anyway, just a Quick close up of the snail, which I call Gary, given I'm a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants, and that's the name of his snail. Lovely lime green, you've got these three by three dishes on the side that are attached in a clever way with hidden inside here is a double clip piece plate with a, I think it's a lightsaber in kind of yellow green going all the way through, which these plates attach to. I think that's really nice. Uh, and you also get these uh, 
storks antennae in yellow with black, which I think just doesn't need a mouth. I just think it's really expressive and pretty cute. So that's it for my review of the Cloud Cuckoo Palace. Uh, I think it's great and fun. Um, it's got some wonderful colours. Yes, it's not going to be the most uh, amazing, lifelike set. There's not loads you can do with the set, but it does have enough play value, enough fun factor, and just these wonderful colours that I think make it really useful to add to your parts collection and, and put on display. I think it's just, it's vibrant and happy, and it's hard not to look at it and think, hmm, yeah, I feel a little bit, a little bit cheered up. Uh, so I, I think that, that's a good noble goal um, in any kind of uh, toy or building set that you play with. But I'd love to hear what you think. Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Do you like the colours? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and also subscribe to our channel because more videos will be coming soon.